Hey guys, it's Tom here and I'd like to talk about large social groups. So today I'd like to split this up in doing kind of like a for and against. So why I think large social groups are good and why I think large social groups are bad. And also, I'll, I also want to explain why in my personal opinion, smaller ones are better. Or like the best. So yeah, uh, the good points. In my opinion, uh, this ranges around high school and college time, uh, that large groups are good. Mainly because they're reliable and that there'll always be someone there that can come out with you. So say you wanted to go to the park with a friend and about five of them are like cleaning their rooms or with girls or doing family stuff and you're just like, I want to go to the park. There'll always be one. There'll always be one friend or at least two that will go to the park with you or play football or do whatever. There'll always be one available. Another thing is that you get fond you get fond of memories from larger groups because more stuff happens. There was one time when we were playing football in like a car park and one of my friends kicks the ball literally over the building into the nursery on the other side. And so being a smart 14 year old boy, he decides to climb this building and go get the ball. Uh, little did we realize about half an hour later that this nursery is like closed in and he had no way of getting out which was really bloody funny and so he just he had to stay there until it opened and explain to the people why he had to be over there which was um, to say the least really funny we still rip into it to this day so now now for the bad things the reason the main reason why I think they're bad is because large social groups you, it's hard to get to know a lot of people. So the main problem is that it's very unpersonalized, if that's a word. That because there are so many people, so many kind of different like personalities, mind frames, attitudes, opinions, that it's it's hard to kind of fit in properly or like find your place. Or even kind of just get along. Because whereas with a smaller group you can get to know people properly, you can get to know them more, they become close friends. Whereas in larger groups, they just become kind of just a bunch of good friends or acquaintances. I mean, I remember back, back when, when, that I barely knew a lot of the friends I was with. I mean, obviously it's different now because some of them have gone, it's a lot smaller. And also, I, I, obviously it could be different for you guys, but for me, uh, I had a, a lot of problems, a lot of clashes. So, clashes with, say like, friends between friends, or friends, two friends over the same thing. With us, it's mainly girls. So we used to argue a lot about girls, because why not, like, well, not why not, but like typical boys, it's, it's usually something they do. And so, it, a lot of the time, at least in the later years of high school and early college, it would be a lot about, like, over girls, two guys like the same girl, or like dating exes, dating a girl that some guy likes, that kind of stuff very mediocre, very childish things. So now I'd like to go to why I think smaller groups are better. The main reason why I think they're smaller, and this is more this is modern day, so this is modern Tom and college Tom, is that it's more personal. But first first of all, instead of having like 10, 15 or whatever friends, you'll have say about three or four, maybe five. And you'll know them more, you'll know their life, you'll know their likes and don't likes. you you can be able to do things together. Like I remember very very vividly, probably one of my most fondest memories is going around Chester with about two of my friends. One of them kind of walked off to the toilet, and me and my other friend Callum, uh, we had what we'd like to describe as an awkwardly romantic walk around Chester. And he's probably one of my closest friends, always has been. You get funny memories in a large group, you get more personal and more stronger memories with smaller groups, because you'll cherish them more, well, in, in my opinion at least. Mainly because it's the fact that, like, you're with one person that you know and trust. You want to remember them. Every time we have, like, a holiday, we st I still go to the pub and have, like, a pint with a, f a few very close friends. Or even just one or two. Never in a large group these days. And that's another thing I like to get onto. The more you mature, or the older you get, I feel like you don't have larger groups as a thing. So say you have a group of 15, uh, about... 
five years later they'd become different ones, or like three or two groups of ten or whatever. Because that's what's happened with me. Over time people have left, people have gone places. And my small my my friend group used to be I think around 10, 15 people. And now it's gone to around seven, five, seven people. And they're very we're very close. And I also have like a different a, a more personal one of like two or three. Which again is more personal as well. Like I know them very, very well. Another reason why I think small uh, it's like smaller friend groups are better is that they care. And that, and that I think is the most important, that they care. When you are feeling, say, lonely or upset or sad even, that you had no one to go to in that group. You didn't have that friend because they were too busy trying to, like, argue with girls or uh, do whatever in their life. That you had no one actually there for you. Whereas I find in smaller groups that they can be. I have so many friends all in my groups. I could I could go to all of them with confidence and say, I'm feeling sad, I'm feeling depressed, I'm feeling this, that, and the other. And they would understand and they'd listen and they'd help me out because they know me. So that's all I have to say about uh, large social groups. Uh, if you have anything to come against me, no, that's, that, sound, that sounds too, too uh, crappy, bro. Uh, if you have anything like kind of informative to say or if you have anything to add on to what I'm saying uh, feel free to uh, type it to me but yeah a DFTBA guys and Rose we will see you on Tuesday no Wednesday see you guys if you stick around